We will go through the several buttons that will help you navigate the screen. The trial director for iPad. Beginning in the top left of the screen is the home button. Press this button to return to the home screen, where you can manage your case folders and add new cases from your Dropbox account or iTunes. Moving to the right is the Add Bookmark button. Press this button to bookmark the document, image, or multimedia currently active in the item viewer. When you navigate away from a bookmarked item, you can easily find it again by selecting the Bookmark tab. In the top right of the screen is the PDF Creation button, which you can use to save the annotations you make on any of your exhibits. When you select this button, it creates a new PDF of the entire document or image, along with any annotations in the item viewer. The new PDF will appear above the original item in the case item list. Dominating the majority of the screen is the case item list on the left and the item viewer on the right. The case item list shows the documents, images, and multimedia that make up your case. The list can be filtered using the item type tabs in the bottom left of the screen. You have the option to view all items in the list, only images and documents, only multimedia, or only bookmarked items. To view a document, image, or multimedia file in the item viewer, select one from the case item list and it automatically appears in the item viewer. When you select multi-page documents, a page slider appears at the bottom of the item viewer. The page slider shows for current page you are on compared to the total number of pages in the document. Slide the larger dot on the page slider to quickly navigate to a specific page in the document. You can also swipe your finger across the screen to navigate one page at a time. Swiping right to left navigates forward, while swiping left to right navigates backward. To pan and zoom the item viewer, press the Select tool. Place annotations on your documents and images using the Annotation Toolbar. You can create highlight boxes, draw with the pen tool, create lines, ovals, and rectangles. Use the whiteboard button to show a blank screen to draw on. While each annotation tool has a default color, you can press and hold any of the annotation tools to view a color editor where you can choose new colors for each annotation tool. The outside circle controls the color family, while the inside triangle controls the hue. The editor also contains four history buttons that populate as you make changes to your color specifications. You can tap one of these to use a color you previously created. You may also use the laser pointer tool, the redaction tool, and the callout tool. Use the Undo button to clear annotations one at a time in reverse order they were created or press the red X button to clear all annotations currently on the screen. The item viewer can toggle between single and double pane views using the toggle view button next to the annotation toolbar. When you switch from single to double pane view, the item currently being viewed populates the left pane. Select the second pane and click a new document, image, or multimedia to populate the second pane. In dual pane view, you can view multimedia in one pane while looking at a document or image in the other pane. To clear a pane of its contents, select the pane and press the red X button in the top right corner of the pane. When switching from dual pane view to single pane view, the item that is currently selected populates the single pane. Thank you for reviewing Working with Exhibits. For additional tutorials on working with the Trial Director for iPad app, go to www.ndatacorp.com and under the support section you will find the tutorials link.